Hello everyone, Darren Alf here from BicycleTrainPro.com. I'm in Posen in Poland right now with my friend Sophie, who is here visiting from the UK. Some of you might recognize Sophie from one of my previous videos that I made in Norway uh, back in 2017, I think. Um, Sophie and I spent a week together cycling across Arctic Norway with a local tour company called Discover Norway. And that video from our trip together is probably one of the best and favorite videos on my entire Bicycle Touring Pro YouTube channel. So you're like a celebrity in the bicycle touring world. It was a good trip. I yeah. enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Sophie here with me, I thought now would be a good time for us to maybe just talk about that trip and look back on it a little bit um, sure. and talk about some of the highlights maybe. Okay. So that trip that we did in Norway was your first bike tour ever, right? Mm -hmm. Like multi-day bicycle tour and adventure. Yeah. How did you feel going into that? Like were you nervous that it was going to be too hard or? I think I was um, entirely unprepared. I went on a few walks beforehand. And I didn't really think about it much. I just thought, okay, I'm going to go and ride a bicycle in the mountains of Norway. And I, so I didn't really prepare for it. And then when I got there, I thought, and started hearing about how long it was going to be and what it was going to be like each day, I thought, well, I wonder what this is going to be like. But um, no, as I got the first day of the bike tour, I was sort of tired. I found it, I got the bike and it was great, but as I was going along, I was like, wow, this is something to get used to. I had not quite thought you know, I've been on little bike rides around the park for a few, you know, 10 miles or so, but it was different during a whole day of cycling. the first day of our bike tour with Active Norway, the Arctic Coast Cycling Tour. How was it, Sophie? It was great. We started in Tromso and we made our way east, west, I guess. Yeah. Um, we went over this mountain plateau thing, which is a big hill going up, which I enjoyed very much. And then set off the drone and had some beautiful uh, wide just views. It was lovely. And then eventually we came back down and started snaking along the coast and eventually we came here yeah and we saw a reindeer oh, one did. reindeer we found a white sand beach yeah white mm -hmm. sand beach mm -hmm. and what else lots of boats lots of wooden houses yes. lots of scenic mountains and, and a few insects bugs a few <laughs> bugs yeah um yeah and this is the furthest Sophie has ever ridden on a, on a bicycle, 65 kilometers. It is, 65 kilometers and so. I did it just about, so very yeah. proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it took a couple of days of getting used to it, I think, but it surprised me like how quickly I felt comfortable yeah. on the road, so yeah, it's yeah. interesting. Well that I, I think is one of the things too that a lot of people who are new to bicycle training like struggle with that first couple days mm -hmm. and also the other thing too was like we were carrying our gear on our bicycles which is something you don't necessarily do on like guided trips so we were carrying these bags and I don't think you had ever ridden with these bags on the back of your bike no, no. so at the beginning you were like a little wobbly kind of mm -hmm. but then towards the end you were totally comfortable I think yeah, yeah. Sure, no, definitely yeah. yeah looking back now it's been two years or so more mm -hmm. what was the highlight of that trip for you? I think the highlight of that trip was just getting to 
explore Norway without being in a car or in a van or anything like that and just the scenery and the landscape was just out of this world beautiful mm -hmm. and there were these beaches that had sort of like coral sand so like white beaches that was just beautiful and yeah the scenery the lakes the fjords the mountains the weather was perfect for me mm -hmm. because it was cold it wasn't cold but it was like cooler yeah. it could have been a lot worse but it was cool and then I like the food as well yeah, the food was incredible. <laughs> food and scenery, I think, mm -hmm. in Norway is just beyond anywhere else. It's so good. Say that one more time. <laughs> this is very, very nice. Yummy fish soup. Mine by went to the Sophie's eating without me. Mm -hmm. She's hungry. She's so hungry. Mm -hmm. Going back to you being a, a beginner bicycle tourist, like I feel like a, a lot of people want to go bicycle touring maybe, they want that experience, but they don't necessarily want to like camp in a tent and go for a week without a shower. Yeah. And I think you're one of those people, Yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. well, I think I, I'd like to try that, but <laughs> no, it was definitely very nice to know that at the end of the day, if you'd cycled however, 50, 50 kilometers or whatever, that you were going to find yourself in a hotel and there would be a hot bowl of soup and a very comfortable bed waiting for you. Yeah. I think obviously that's really nice. Yeah. It kind of keeps you going and not having to unpack a tent at the end of the day, especially if it's raining. Right. It's, yeah. it's very nice. Wow. This is a step up here. A little balcony and a massive window and a kitchen. And a good you just stay here for a few weeks. I know. <laughs> Amazing That's view lovely. out front here yeah, too. Check it out. Beautiful. Wow. There's the little bedroom. Yeah, that's gotta be the bathroom. There's a bathroom. All right, how do you feel at the end of the day here? It was tough a little bit in some of those tunnels, but I'm feeling okay, a bit sore, but yeah. great, but great, yeah. Happy to be here? For sure, look at it, it's incredible, yeah. yeah. I'm always telling people, especially people who are new to bike touring, that, that a guided or self-guided bike tour like the one that we did in Norway is a great way to get started with bicycle touring. Like, like you maybe want to do a camping trip at some point in the future, but it's pretty hard to go from having never done a bike tour before to going on a week-long trip camping in the dirt. You know, yeah. it's, it's a much more gradual thing to go from a self-guided trip where you're, okay, you have some difficulties with the biking and you're learning this, but then you go into, you know, a hotel and you're, okay, <laughs> this, is, this is all right. I know? think if I'd have yeah. been doing that trip and riding for the furthest I've ever been and then at the end of the day camping, I think after a couple of days I would have been quite exhausted. Yeah, yeah. This definitely was a really, really lovely introduction. Mm. Yeah. Now, one of the things um, that's most recognizable about the video that we created from our trip together is the music that I used in these videos. And the music was made by... Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> Sophie <laughs> Wilkie! <laughs> music 
for a long time and then I started this solo project in 2016. The music from that video, those videos was from um, Quiet Magic, my first album. And now I'm working on my second album, which is called Starlight and Salt Water. Yeah. How would you describe your music uh, to someone? Because so many people commented on how unique, you know, what did and, you say? Per and perfect the music is oh. for, I don't know, what yeah, you were doing. When I was writing that, I was traveling a lot across um, Europe and the States, so I kind of got a lot, well, quite inspired by being on the road, and so it sort of turned into a sort of road trip album, like an electronic, slightly haunting, maybe, road trip adventure album. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how I would describe it. Mm -hmm. Magical, electronic, <laughs> travel music. Yeah, for sure. Something yeah, like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you're working on a, a second album now. I am. Which is, what's that going to be called? It's called Starlight and Salt Water. I'm getting, I'm approaching being done. Mm. It's, um, it's, I'm very, very proud of it. And um, there's a lot more um, natural instruments in there. And I play the harp, because I started playing the harp. So the harp's in there a lot. Um, and it's lots of songs about the desert and then moving back to the UK mm. and all of the emotions that came with that um, into this new this new thing that's yeah there's a lot of the sea in it too so the ocean yeah cool yeah <laughs> so where can people learn more about your music oh you can learn more about my music on um, well I'd say you can find me on Facebook Ocean Calling Sophie or on Instagram which is also Ocean Calling Sophie, and then I have a blog which is girlandtheroad.com mm -hmm. for writing and all sorts of rambling things. Um, yeah, that's where you'll find me. Okay. Anything else we should mention? Um, <laughs> we're in Poland! <laughs> we're in Poland, yeah, we've spent the last week together here in Poznan, Poland, which is like my second home in Europe. And Sophie came from the UK just to visit. I caught a bus. Yeah, she <laughs> took a bus here. 23-hour <laughs> bus ride here. Good journey. And I've been showing her around the city. We went to the botanical gardens, the zoo, the... Museums. Museums. Where, all sorts. Yeah, bike rides. We did two bike rides out to nearby lakes. Mm -hmm. Met some of my friends. That's went, beautiful. Ate a lot of food. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, it's been good. It's been so. a beautiful trip. And hopefully we will do another bike tour together. Yes. At some point in the future. Somewhere north. Maybe. Yeah. Canada maybe. Canada, yeah. That would be Why good. not see some more mountains? Yeah. You can push me up the mountains. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So that's Sophie. And if you want to learn more about our video together, check the link down below or go to bicycletrainpro.com and just search for Arctic Norway. I think that's probably the easiest way to find it. And if you want to learn more about Sophie's music, download her albums. <laughs> There's two of them. One is finished and the second one is coming soon. In the summer. Summer. Mm -hmm. What's the website again? Uh, I would go to, well, if you go to Instagram, Ocean Calling Sophie, Facebook, Ocean Calling Sophie, or girlintheroad.com. All right, that's it. Darren and Sophie. Bye-bye. Signing off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>